Hey there folks and welcome back to the Tower Tech. So there has been loads of leaks, speculations and rumours surrounding the Valve Index headset. And this video is definitely going to build on those with a bit of speculation and conjecture about what resolution we can expect in this device. Now this is based on some facts. There's a bit of a narrative, a bit of a story to unwind here. So just bear with me while I step you through that. So what do we know? There's definitely been leaked images of the resolution that the headset's going to render at. That was in a uh, streamed YouTube video that has subsequently been released. And you can see, not that clearly, but if you look quite carefully, you can see here in this image that the, uh, the headset's rendering at a resolution of 1930 by 2125. Now that's, that's an odd resolution. What's also important here is the slider is set at 90%. If you do a bit of simple maths, you can work out that 100%, that's a rendering resolution of 2016 by 2240. Well, Michael, that's a bit of an odd resolution. Why on earth would it render at that? And what you need to remember is that VR headsets typically render their images at a higher resolution than the displays within them. This is to correct for a whole heap of distortion effects that you get as a result of the lenses in the, uh, in the VR headsets. And actually that rendering resolution is exactly the same as the HTC Vive Pro. That has a screen resolution of 1440 by 1600 per eye. We also know from a page that was mistakenly put up on Steam that the headset is going to use DisplayPort 1.2. Now, DisplayPort 1.2 has a limited bandwidth of around about 17 gigabits per second, and that's also the same as the HTC Vive Pro. So it would be really easy to conclude at this point that the Valve Index is going to have exactly the same resolution as the Vive Pro, and just by way of a bit of a comparison, we do know that the Pimax 5K, which uses 2560 by 1440 per eye, most definitely has DisplayPort 1.4 because it needs the extra bandwidth. We also know the HP Reverb that's coming out also uses DisplayPort 1.3 to render at 2160 by 2160 per eye. So we can conclude the video and say it's going to have HTC Vive Pro resolution. However, some important patents that were filed by Valve Corporation all the way back in early 2017, all surrounding the use of very specific technologies that make use of eye tracking, specifically the ability to lower the resolution in your peripheral vision and keep it sharp where your pupil is actually focused on, and also to actually correct for lens distortion based on your pupil location. Links to those papers down in the description. We also know that a patent was filed for something called double Fresnel lenses. This is where you stack two lenses on top of each other. And what this helps you do is transition your eye from a near field of view to a far field of view. And it does that in a much more seamless way than you would get on a single Fresnel lens. So it is entirely conceivable that Valve actually have pulled off a bit of a masterstroke here. They found a way of keeping your GPU and computer requirements relatively modest. They've managed to use DisplayPort 1.2 uh, and kept their bandwidth requirements down by implementing clever technologies that actually make them able to display 4K-ish type images, but only really be using the kind of horsepower and the bandwidth that is required typically for an Oculus Rift or an HTC Vive. Now that makes the price of entry for this device much more affordable. If you do a bit of digging from the leaked images and you start going through the data sheets for the display driver, we also know that that is more than capable of driving two 4K displays. And we also know that uh, it's gonna be making use of either BOE or JDI screens. Now, JDI just happened to have released 
two screens that started actually shipping in mass uh, in March, and they've actually been around for about a year. So actually that would broadly line up with the development cycle for Valve and the release cycle of the headset on mass. So let me have your thoughts down in the comments below. Are we gonna get a kind of run of the mill bog basic competitor to the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive, or are we gonna get something altogether far more innovative, clever and sensational, a true second gen headset I certainly know which one I'm voting for. So there we go, guys. Really exciting times. We're only days away now from the formal announcement of uh, of the Valve Index, which I believe is going to include some really clever eye tracking technology to help keep the price point and the cost of entry for this device really in a sweet spot. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.